Okay, so let's just try. I will just leave you alone and try to repeat all that we've done until now, okay? So, of course, the patient is very patient, <laughs> fortunately. Uh, no harm. Uh, and uh, perhaps uh, do something stupid, which is bend the probe antiflex and push the probe. So, you see that this simulator tells you, okay, you perforated the esophagus, please do avoid this kind of manipulation. Let's go. It's just a simulator. <laughs> this is fortunately only simulator. Right. So, we are now at the top. And so we start from the upper esophageal view, yes. from the big vessels, yes? Yeah. So, yeah. I will not speak uh, now and try to do what we've said. So this is the cross-section of the aorta, yes? Mm -hmm. And the pulmonary uh, artery just above. Mm -hmm. And the superior vena cava, correct? And now... So we told me to rotate to seek for the longitudinal view of ascending aorta. Mm -hmm. Good. So we can no do dissection. It. Yes, yeah. we can do it like of this course. or by by plain view. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to be certain that uh, you cut the the aorta in the center yeah. to see really the size of the aorta. Okay, good. Let's go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Descending. Okay, what to do to see the, really the Mercedes instead of uh, ellipse? So we have to change the rotation a little bit. Yeah. I will just uh, make it To make it circle, here. as you told us. Yes. So we should keep, uh, keep in mind that we have to have the circle mm -hmm. ascending aorta, not elliptic. Yeah. And uh, now um, slightly push the probe. Try to keep it always in the center. It pays, really, pays, pays when you have it. Yeah, and now probably we have to correct, correct slightly. You see that the, if the plane is not really very transverse, each manipulation changes a lot of things. So I told you, if you have zero degree, you have full control because you have exactly the same image, you only tilt it. But once you have 40 degrees, try to rotate the probe now. You see, we are changing the level as well, uh, up and down. So, uh, but if you go, it, uh, go to this position step by step, keeping the aorta in the center, you will do it easily. And now you can go to um, uh, uh, what degree to see the long axis view of the aortic valve? So we will have 125 more or less? Um, 30 something, because it was around 40, yeah. Yeah, very so good. Like so this. we have the long axis view of the aortic valve, very good. Now come back to this 30, yes. And uh, show me the inflow outflow view. Mm -hmm. You remember how we did it? You just have to increase the angle to approximately 60. Correct, yeah. And you see inflow outflow, very easy. You see it here inflow outflow, okay. The next one would be by cable. Mm -hmm. Wrong. You have to go to 90, yes. And now rotate correct. Clockwise. But you are not really 90 yes, degrees. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, yeah. Correcting myself. Okay, good. Now we see that uh, we have, it's called banana view, where we have this uh, vena cava superior, inferior. Of course, if you rotate slightly, you will see more left uh, right atrium as well. Okay, very nice. Now uh, we leave it as it is, and now we go to the mitral valve, right? Mm -hmm. So I advised you to go to zero, very good. Yeah, go mitral valve in the center. All right. Mm -hmm. Slightly deeper, yeah. So, uh, and the retroflex. Yes. Yeah. Try to do it yourself, yeah, okay. Retroflex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little advice. If you manipulate those, uh, this, this uh, knob, uh, of course you can use your left hand to do that. But then you have no, no hand to manipulate here or there. So my advice would be to use your thumb to really control the big wheel here. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you have the left hand completely free. Yeah? Okay. 
And if you ro uh, control the, um, uh, the stick angle with the knob instead of the buttons, yes. then everything you do, you do on the, on the keyboard of the machine. Yeah? But this, this is not yet retroflex, really. Okay. Of course, we understand that at this position we have to wait a little bit to stabilize the image sometimes. Okay. Put the, yeah. This is a four it. chamber view, yeah? This, this is four chamber view. Okay. And now let's go to intercommissural. So we're just changing the plane 90 degrees. No, 60. Okay, 60. So let's check if you are correct. Again, I'll put the markers. Now, what do you select? Uh, which option? You either can increase the angle to, um, to, 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 uh, to see the long axis view with the ORTA. We call it the VOT view. You add 90 and you will have 150, or you press the button. Which button? And this one, yeah. Correct. But you see your, your line is not exactly at the center of the valve. So what to do here? You can a little bit uh, pull back the probe and uh, on the left image, the intercommissural view will move parallel and you will see uh, the long axis view very nicely. And I will put here the uh, crosses again and let's see what we've done. Is it good or not? I'll decrease the gain. So you see it's slightly off axis a little bit. And you can see that uh, you, the, the red line is a little bit um, posterior. Uh, so this needs to be corrected. But the, the yellow line is more or less OK. It's just in the center of the valve. So the only thing is that by rotation, by, by this rotation, you are changing the position of the valve in the space. And it would move the, the red line towards the aorta if you, if you rotate clockwise. OK, but we'll practice it later on. So for this uh, very first uh, approach, it's really very good result. Now let's go to 90 degrees. I will explain later once again uh, what it is used for. Good. And now come back to 60 and let's go to um, uh, left atrial appendage. Very good. Yeah. So get rid of this Kumadin ridge here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And now you can use the uh, angle uh, from zero. To the appendage. Yeah? Yes. Keep the appendage in the view and then rotate. Zero, 45. By the, there is a standard which also is used to measure the size of the left atrial appendage during the uh, LAA occlusion uh, procedures. So use the 91, 90 degrees. Yes. Always, yes, you have to correct slightly and uh, 135. Yeah, again, little correction always. Very good. Yeah, and you see those trabeculations. This is very typical for left atrial appendage. This is not the thrombus, yes? This is just the trabeculation morphology of the, of the, of the appendage. normal uh, appendage. Right, so now let's go to transgastric. So release this mm -hmm. and put... Yeah, always remember when you uh, insert the probe, try to check. Uh -huh. check Am if I it's okay not fixed, with yes. the knobs? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how deep is usually transgastric? Well, uh, approximately uh, 35, 40, 45, depending on the height uh, of the patient. So here mm -hmm. we are at 35. Right, so now... Antiflex, Antiflex. Yeah. Then immediately the image will improve at this, at, and at, at the same time you will see the uh, better uh, circular shape of the left ventricle. The, which, which lever are you on? Is it uh, mitral valve? Papillary muscles. Papillary muscles. So if you want to go to popular, to mitral valve level. A little bit higher. Yes. yes. So you can slightly release mm -hmm. the bend, but slowly you can withdraw, even with this, with a little bend. Here are yes. mitral leaflets. Mitral leaflets in short acts. Beautiful. And now put it in the center, the mitral valve. Keep, keep it as it was, antiflexed. Yeah. Put the valve in the center and now do the two chamber view which will be perpendicular to that. Mm -hmm. 
if you were lazy, you would probably you are pressing the button on the on the probe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you were lazy, you you could uh, push the uh, explain button, right? So <laughs> you would have it immediately. This like is 60, seconds. but it should be slightly more, around 90. Of course, remember, all the angles and all my advices apply to a specific patient. Each patient is slightly different. You can have esophagus, which will go like this, you know, in the, in the chest. And then you will have to find completely crazy angles and crazy positions to show things that you have to show. But the important thing is to understand the anatomy and understand the shape of the, of the image that you are going to achieve and you have to adjust, yourself. adjust all mm -hmm. the angles to the patient. And this simulator gives you uh, huge advantages in terms of, of such a training because there is uh, more than 20 different patients with different anatomies uh, and you can practice uh, which, with every patient. Okay, so now can you show me the transgastric long axis view of the aortic valve? No, you, you, you did not, uh, this was not necessary because you had the two chamber. So let's come back to two chamber with antiflex. Okay, and now all you have to do is just to change this plane position to aorta. Correct. Okay. This is contraintuitive, right? Because you think, okay, aorta is on the right side, but it is. Comparing to left ventricle, it's slightly on the right. But the other thing is that you have to now correct slightly the angle because you see, you, you don't see longitudinal section, right? It's because, yeah, so you have to usually increase the angle slightly and always, you know, you, I always say that it's like uh, driving a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. You keep your gas uh, up and down all the time you, when, you, when you're moving. So you do this exactly the same with the probe. Uh, so no matter what you do, you always adjust a little bit mm -hmm. up and down. And here is the, um, the long axis view of the aorta. Very nice. And now deep transgastric ones. So. Better to go to zero, yeah, and slide down with the ventricle in view. Okay, and now deep antiflex. Probably, so you see, you cannot see, even if we did the very deep antiflex, you don't see aorta, probably you are too shallow yet. Mm -hmm. So you have to release, go deeper, and antiflex once, yes, you see? That's uh, that's very nice. Okay. So it's an Good. image very similar to trans thoracic echo, yes? Yeah, it's very similar to uh, APCAL 5 chamber. Yes. To some some degree.